Shalom. My name is Shivon Mizi. I'm a Zimbabwean first in Lesotho, Maseru. I have a testimony to share with the people of God all over the world and Christopher Oji Ministries. I was Jew. My pregnancy was Jew. Over Jew, I mean. And I was supposed to give birth in January. But the baby didn't come out. So now my pregnancy was overdue also. I went to the hospital. And the hospitals here, they were suggesting operation. That's the normal way of, get, of giving birth here in this country. And I didn't want to be part of that. I wanted a normal delivery. And I believed that God uh, could intervene when I... I called Christopher OG Ministries prayer line. I called them and that was last last of last week. And to the grace of God, uh, one of the evangelists had time to pray with me and she told me to believe in God and come back with my testimony. Yeah, so I believed and now I was not very worried like I was because I knew that God was involved in my case and for sure I'll come back with a testimony. So last Friday, miraculously, I went to the hospital. I was in labor, I think, for about three hours. Then I get back to my bouncing baby girl as you can see her her name is Aya which means miracle she was 3.8 kgs and I couldn't believe it was me pushing 3.8 kgs just like that without any stitch without any operation without any challenge when I told the nurses that I want to push now they also, they also they said no not now it can't but to their surprise when they came to check me the baby was already coming out why they say so also is because when the water broke it was mixed with uh, the baby's poop she had pooped in the in the womb and as you know when the baby pooped in the womb mostly most cases will be still bad so maybe that's why they said not now because now they were thinking maybe it was a still bad my baby couldn't survive couldn't survive it but I believed God I knew that I was going to hold my baby but not that early though I was so surprised I was in labor for a few hours and I gave birth normally Everything was just okay, and I'm just normal. And it was a big surprise to me because my first baby, it was 2.6, but I had, I had to cut me. I had complications after birth, you know. But this one, it was indeed a miracle. You could feel that there is God's hand that is involved here. I just want to thank God. Just want to thank God of uh, Christopher OG Ministries, the way he is touching people's lives all over the world. It's not that you have to go there direct, but even over the phone, if you believe, it will happen. I thank God for my beautiful bouncing baby girl, and I'm happy. I just want to thank Jesus and uh, I'm also expecting a test another testimony anytime soon because my husband the one who's taking the video now Cecil Gombe he had been interviewed with the United Nations for volunteers for the first time since we started praying with uh, Christopher Oji Ministries over the phone again and he had been interviewed and 
We are waiting for a response in Jesus' name. We believe and know that God of Christopher Ojo will do it again and again when you testify to his goodness. Just want to thank big God for our family. Just want to thank God for Christopher Ojo Ministries. May it expand in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.